We should be live. Should be live, should have volume, should have an image. <laughs> you guys see my pictures? Not my pictures. These are our driver's pictures. They sent in to, to share. Thank you very much, by the way. I appreciate that. Yes, I do. So welcome to our Tuesday edition of our Q&A. We do this every Tuesday um, on our YouTube channel. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Let's see if we can have some success here with our, our video and everything. Hey, William. Hello, hello. Hey, Abe. How's the shoulder today, Amy? A little better? Hopefully. Hopefully a little bit better. And, uh, yeah. All right. Um, William, I think it was your birthday or something coming up. I bet it was William Fries. Well, good. Glad you're here. Um, so, we do have an echo. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Where's my echo coming from? How about now? Do I still have an echo? Should be better. All right. I only have one, one line, so I'm going with it. <laughs> All right, so welcome to our Tuesday edition. This is our our Q&A. So if you have questions, definitely ask them. This is an opportunity for you to learn the answers if you don't know them already. Okay, cool. Thanks, Abe. Um, I'm getting a hang of the update that they've got going on here. I think. We'll see. Um, so welcome to our Tuesday edition. If you have questions, please put them in the chat. And between myself and everybody else that's on here, we'll be able to answer those questions for you as they come in. Um, if you're wondering about the hiring areas and what we have available in your area, the best thing to do is just throw your uh, zip code up or maybe even the city and state in the chat so that I can answer you from there. Felix is in Long Beach, California, having a blast in the 70 degree weather. Not sure that's very nice to, to say that. Um, not when it's cold here. <laughs> it's really not that bad here today. So good. I'm glad you're warm. Hey, Anna, Anna, she's on here, ripboard and ready to go. All right, so jumping on, what happened to my computer? There we go. Um, I was all excited I got that set up. <laughs> all right, so before we dive in, speaking of weather, Felix, you brought it up. We're going to talk about it. Um, speaking of weather, we do have a weather alert that is coming up. Let's see, we've got... I'm just going to cover some things here. Uh, that, let's see, weather is coming for what? Up in, yeah, snow, definitely. But I think it's for um, Midwest, West. Just be on the lookout. Record temperature lows, not highs, lows. And so you can just go ahead and, and be prepared by making sure that you have all of your fluids, your antigel. Uh, any antigel that you have um, or don't have that you need, make sure that you're picking up at one of the shops or one of the truck stops. Um, I know that a couple of the guys mentioned a few different locations that you could uh, pick them up at. House, is that right? Does that sound right to you? Uh, one of the areas that you can um, look them up. But beware because they are or we are getting um, record lows. Boo! But we're getting them. Um, I know Bryce is excited. He thinks that he's going to ski if it goes, when it, when it goes low. Anna says the additive that we provide is the Penray Winter Power R um, plus the diesel antigel. So those are, the, they, sh you should have them in your side box of your truck. We do provide, you know, like extra cleaning supplies, we extra fluids to put into the side box of your, of your truck. Um, however, if you're low, make sure that you're picking them up. Uh, the Penray should treat about 250 gallons, where the service that is treating right around 100, I believe, um, gallons. But make sure that you make sure that you are um, doing so. Hey, uh, by the way, thanks for the picture, Joe, Joe Dominey, for the picture that I used here, <laughs> the weather alert picture. Cool beans. Thanks, you guys. If you want to send us pictures, you can send them to facebook.com backslash detailing and then I can share them during our live which you know I like to do. So
So um, Anna says, one other note is that the temperature is dropping. The additional additive will need to be used um, to be sure to add before adding fuel so that the product mixes properly. Yes, um, read the directions because every bottle is a little bit different. Not every single bottle, but every kind is a little bit different. So please make sure that you're reading the directions so that you're properly adding that, um, not getting anything mixed up there in the wrong way. Um, but yeah, well, you should have all the extras in the side box, uh, extra fluids and stuff so that you are on track. You guys have been doing a superb job, so I, I definitely don't want to downplay the fact that you guys have been doing a great job. Um, we did have a problem right at the beginning of uh, winter, and we saw that we had about three trucks that, that had issues. Um, but you guys have, have been on the, the up and up since, so it's absolutely great news. It can be awfully expensive if you don't add it and you do gel up. I mean, that's an easy $1,500 expense to get the truck um, back into working order. I mean, when the diesel fuel or yeah, when the diesel fuel gels up, it gets, it can be a pretty hefty expense. Um, plus you're down, you're sitting there and you're down and not getting the miles that you want to be getting. So make sure that you do that. Um, also in the side box, you have, you should probably have some cleaning supplies, paper towels, things like that. Um, with that in mind, I want to congratulate both Cindy and Todd Hopes. They won $500 in our drawing on Friday for our Take Pride in Your Ride trucks or Take Pride in Your Ride um, competition. So you can see that we do have uh, that competition coming on every, well, let's see, we'll be doing it again this year as well. I don't like foresee not to doing it, uh, but we'll continue to do it this year as well. The Take Pride in Your Ride um, drawing was for anybody who, who, um, had a level four or achieved a level four when they came in for a service inspection. So what that is all about, uh, to kind of give you a back story of that, and if you watch the Facebook Live from Friday, you'll get even more details on it. But what that's all about is our Take Pride in Our Ride campaign. And if you are, um, if your truck is coming in and it's clean, it's looking sharp, it's above Deckard standards, of course, Decker standards are high, um, we like to keep them high. We like to keep them high all across the board because we're driven to be the best. So um, we do have high expectations. However, when you exceed them, you you win a level four or you earn a level four um, badge, I guess. But I don't know what you call it. But we, a little a level four earnings. There we go. So you'll get a gift card, um, a gift certificate as well. So you'll have that gift card. Uh, for the level four, and you get that from the shop. So you come in for the inspection, um, and that could be Missoula, it could be Bessemer, it could be Fort Dodge, it could be Hammond. You come in for the inspection, you get a level four for that service inspection, and then from there, you'll get that gift card. You'll, your name is also entered into a drawing for $500. Now, if you get a level one, it means that your truck is completely unacceptable. It needs to be cleaned. And uh, number two is... Um, you know, it, you need to take a couple minutes to, to clean it. it. It doesn't meet the Decker standards. Decker standards, of course, um, when they are met, you'll get the a few extras as well. Um, again, Matt and Rod went through all of those details on Friday so that you can get that if you go to our Facebook channel and check out the live. But level four, that's when you get the gift card and, and all the goodies. Chance to win that, that $500. Um, so yeah, so the... If you're not familiar with the Take Pride in My Ride campaign, that started last year. So last year was the first year that we did that. Uh, we had a few drivers that um, just not only did they take pride in the, the trucks themselves, but uh, they felt like we needed to make sure everybody was doing so. Because if you are, um, you, you're representing Decker, no matter where you are. So as an employee, as a driver, of Decker, we all are representing. We need to set a good impression, not only to our customers, but to others out there in general. So um, you know, it's a reflection of us. So like as an individual, you as an individual. So, um, so I appreciate the suggestions and keep them coming. If you guys have more suggestions, send them our way at suggestions at deckermail.com. You can also, if you have questions, to go on the podcast, you can go to podcast at deckermail.com as well. 
or info at Decker Mail. We've got all kinds of websites. Send it to us if you want to be um, incognito. It's no problem. Uh, what did I just read here? Amy says it's overcast, but no snow yet. Not yet. Not looking forward to it. Don't want it. Yes, so Tindy and Tindy, Cindy and Todd Hopes won that uh, Take Pride in Your Ride. So congratulations again for that. Um, Anna says, my office today may be a level three. Yes, I think I need to work to get myself to a level three. Let me see. I've got, well, it's not too bad, but it's, um, this desk, however, can see better days. Amy says she doesn't like the snow either. Yes, I hear you all too well. So beware of those uh, record, record temperatures. So this weekend, it's the Midwest, uh, the Rocky Mountain area. It will experience very cold weather. <clears throat> so be aware of that. Below zero temps. So you got to remember to add that ant, Joe. Um, and, you, you know, it's not a suggestion. It is a must, you guys. You must do this. It's for your safety and, and of course, getting the trucks moving and everything. But it is for your safety. If the trucks aren't running... Um, then your APUs won't be working. You know, they'll stop working. It'll all pretty much add up into a, to a mess. So uh, make sure that you're reading the instructions for the, the ratio, the mixed ratio. Um, and if you have questions, get, get a hold of your fleet manager or get a hold of maintenance support. Maintenance support telephone number is 515-574-4321. So get a hold of them. Make sure that you're your questions are answered so that you're you know them before you are dispatched <laughs> all right um Anna yes the podcast podcast this last week was uh, I got to be the guest and talk a little bit more about health and fitness and making sure that you're um, following some healthy tips or hacks I guess um, suggestions but I also wanted to talk about that today as well um, as a reminder, some of these these uh, shared pictures look delicious, don't they? Uh, those are Thomas Remington's. Um, the Portobello is the one I'm like, dang, that looks good. But um, some of the things I wanted to talk about today were uh, resources that are out there in the land of the internet land that'll be able to help you um, maintain some healthy lifestyle changes. Um, some of the resources are, I mean, they're just website links that I'm going to give you, but the information is really helpful. Uh, some of them are location specific uh, when it comes to where some of these amenities are. But Pilot Flying J, you all know that we have the Pilot Flying J reward cards here, and we get the additional, I think it's five cents more, um, or five cents total that you can get. So you definitely get great bonuses there or great reward points there. And they can add up for um, showers and laundry and all kinds of things. But in addition to that, the Pilot Flying J also has um, gyms. They offer gyms available or, or resources that way. So if you're not familiar with that, you can actually check that out on this website. Let me see if I can get that over to you. Do -do -do -do. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so this website is uh, the Pilot Flying J. They offer the gyms. So this is the Snap Fitness and a Rolling Strong Wellness Program. So the, the franchise, the Snap Fitness franchise, you have over, oh, what is it, 600 locations for the Snap Fitness, I believe. And then... Um, Oh, yeah, 600 Pilot Flying J Travel Center gyms, as well as 1,300 Snap Fitness locations. So you'll have access to all of that. It's $19.95. Um, we are not an affiliate of any sort when it comes to um, the, the fitness program. However, we want you to stay fit and, and feel healthy, uh, get your cardiovascular strength up and, and everything as well. So definitely encourage it, but it is $19.95. Uh, a month for it. The 1300 Snap Fitness locations can be found in by going through that uh, link that I just provided. And then the 600 Pilot Flying J's as well. Sorry, that, that was probably ringing in your ear. Tim, I can see you calling. <laughs> Tim Holden. 
All right. Um, so uh, if you don't, those are 24 seven access. So if you um, have questions on them, just feel free to, to check those out. Uh, make sure that you're checking out the rewards there. Also, um, for additional resources out there, are the TAs, the TAs and the Petros, they've got stay activities or stay fit activities, I think is what they call it. Um, and here's the PDF, actually. This I thought was super duper handy. Let me see if I can link this to you guys. Um, yes, the tapetro.com assets. So what I thought was really cool, and we talked about this a little bit yesterday on our Facebook Live. By the way, if you're not following us on Facebook, please do so. We go live every uh, Monday at 4 p.m. Central, and you can join us there. But this resource that I just put the link to, this is a breakdown of what is available at each of these um, Petro TA locations. So looking at the Missoula one uh, is the, one of the examples I used yesterday. Going into Montana, looking at Missoula, there is a beanbag toss activity available as well as basketball. So basketball hoops available at the um, TA Petro in Missoula, Montana. Uh, random one, let's see, we've got Georgia, uh, the Atlanta area, they've got basketball, they've got indoor fitness. Some of the other examples that they have are horseshoes, um, walking trails, bowling, outdoor fitness, I think I mentioned, um, beanbag toss. So those are available in multiple locations. There's only, uh, I think the bowling is the one that's only available uh, at a Columbia and only, only a couple places. I know Columbia um, is one of them, South Carolina. Is there another one? Oh, I'm looking. See if I can scan it real quick. I don't see another one, but um, pretty interesting that they have those available and pretty cool. If you don't want to use one that's at a truck stop, then check out All Trails. All Trails is another website, actually an app that you can use that will allow you um, information on trails that are, are near to you and, and not only how close they are to you, how long they are, um, the steepness of the terrain, the paths, all of those things. Um, hey, Tim, Tim, I just said you were just giving, you were just on the phone here. Um, so I'll have to give you a call as soon as I get off, okay? All right, hang on. Call Tim. All right. Um, CDL Life app, that's another one Anna suggests. Thank you, good idea. That'll work. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of them out there. You can just do some exploring. Um, ATBS has some. Yep. Um, also, for if you go on to our EAP program, which is Unum, so unum.com backslash life balance, you can get a lot of resources off of there as well. Not necessarily resources on um, where you can go to exercise, like those apps we're, we're providing, but more on the healthy living tips. Um, some suggestions for what to eat, when to eat, how much sleep to get, how important sleep is. It also has mental health um, and, and a blog on there as well, providing you information on that, um, contacting, um, contacting a, uh, a doctor if you need to talk to somebody about mental health, uh, talking and even planning out estates if you need that. But yeah, there's a whole lot of information on there besides just your physical, your health and wellness issues, but there's that's a lot. Unum.com backslash life balance. Yes, thank you, Anna. Is that the number? 854-1446. Yes, that's right. 85 or 800-854-1446. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you guys got that information, um, those resources available to you. Uh, if you have questions, let us know. But we just, it's important to, to stay healthy out on the road. Um, speaking of being out on the road, please keep your eyes open for Miss Trinity. Trinity is a friend of, of um, Joseph Lyles. Joseph gave me this information, let's see, yesterday. Um, Trinity has gone missing and January was a traffic, Human Trafficking Awareness Month. They do feel that there is some sort of connection. We don't know for sure, but they are concerned about it. So if you could please keep your eyes and ears open, 
If you find out anything about Miss Trinity Boland, uh, she's 14 years old. She's 5'3", 110 pounds. She's been missing since the end of January. Um, so just a little over, little over a week uh, that she's been missing. Uh, please call the police department, 704-920-4074. Um, if you if you hear of any news, so please contact the serious matter, um, obviously and dear to dear to many of our hearts. So please keep your eyes open yeah, for her. Um, thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, anybody have any questions on some of the different hiring areas that we do have available here at Decker? I would like to kind of review some of the information that I've been asked here recently on the qualifications for not only our um, weekly pay, which is we have guaranteed pay, uh, you're guaranteed a minimum of $1,000 a week across the board. Of course, some of our different positions do offer a little bit more. So we'll talk about that. But what are the guidelines? What are the qualifications for that? Let's dive in to answer some of those questions. And then we'll also answer our our accelerator bonus. This is our sign-on bonus that is new to us as of this year. So yeah, well, the tail end of 2020 actually, because we're paying out, let me look at those numbers here, um, for, where's that out? There we go. Okay, so we, we've done some payouts for our quarterly accelerator bonus. That is a new one. It pays out obviously quarterly. It's a $5,000 bonus total, so it pays $12.50 for each quarter, just within your first year. Um, then last, let's see, this week, uh, James Sterling and Javis Arnold both received their uh, first quarter payouts. Um, James may be on the $12.50, so that $12.50 is guaranteed. You do need to run a minimum. Uh, for the qualifications, not run a minimum, but you need to meet the minimum qualifications for that. So let's let's break that down. The qualifications for the minimum pay, the guaranteed pay, which is on a weekly basis, as well as the accelerated sign-on bonus, the quarterly accelerated sign-on bonus, all require these six qualifications. Your paperwork has to be in by Sunday night at 10 p.m. It must be in by Sunday night. If it's not, then you forfeit your guaranteed pay or your minimum pay, whatever it is, whatever verbiage we use on that one, but you forfeit that and you go back to your pay per mile. Your pay per mile could still very well exceed that of that guaranteed pay, but that guaranteed pay is there is just kind of a safety net. You're gonna get the better of the two either way. So if your miles and your rate of pay exceed that guaranteed, amount, then you're going to get the mileage pay. You're going to get the better of the two, period. So get all of your paperwork in on time. That means Sunday at 10 p.m. Um, no driver-related service failures. Can't have any driver-related service failures. All loads must be on time. Again, it's driver-related. So if it's weather or, um, oh, you know, a breakdown or something like that, if it's a driver service failure, it will not count against you. Um, you cannot turn down loads. That's the third requirement. You cannot turn down any loads. We are not a forced dispatch company. However, in order to qualify for the guaranteed pay, that is one of our criteria. Otherwise, it's very hard to, well, we're not sure how you would gauge or how you would uh, keep track and, and keep everybody on task for the qualifications otherwise. So don't turn down any loads, no driver related service failures, all your paperwork in. You must be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. So like a Monday through uh, a week basically is like a Monday through Sunday as according to our pay period. Um, so you need to be available at least five days out of the week. So that is the fourth requirement. Um, you must not have any CSA violations or any points that week. Remember, it's a week by week basis. So one week isn't gonna have any bearing on the next. And then the sixth and final is no preventable accidents that week. Remember, that is no preventable accidents that week. Um, I just missed some comments I saw here. Amy says, I need to work for Decker for the pay is amazing. <laughs> uh, Tim says, I'm coming back through Missoula tonight if load works, if not early morning, I'll see. I think the snow is going to be following me there. Ah, be careful. Be careful. 
Amy says, I don't drive much outside the state of Montana. Stephen drives after well enough on road trips. The traffic and the crazy driving makes me panic. That's right. Tim, at that time, no snow, but it's possible tonight, Amy says. So be be aware, Tim, that it's later tonight probably is, is what we're expecting. All right, cool. Um, what else was I going to say? For um, what we're talking about, the guaranteed pay and the requirements or the criteria. So all your paperwork in on time. Here's the six again. Get all your paperwork in on time. Um, and that's Sunday at, at 10 p.m. No driver-related service failures. You can't turn down any loads. No CSA violations for the week. No preventable accidents for the week. And then the final one is being available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. Now, your home time is based off of where you live. And with that said, when you're talking to your recruiter, or if you're already with Decker, when you're speaking with your recruiter, remember your home time is based off of where you live and where our freight is in comparison or how much freight we have in the area as well. So there's a few different factors, how many drivers we have out of the area, as well as the amount of freight and how often you wanna get home. So lots of criteria into that. Uh, that being said, we do figure for every um, seven days that you're out, we figure a day and a half home time for every seven days you're out. So if you're home on a weekly basis, say you come in on a Friday night or a Saturday morning, then you're probably headed out Sunday night or Monday morning, for an, usually for an early Monday morning delivery. Um, if you stay out for four weeks, uh, then you know, you're know you looking at more days home. So basically, what uh, if, if you're staying out for two weeks, you're looking at three days off. If you're staying out for three weeks, you're looking at four and a half days home. Um, we don't want you home more than the seven days at a time. So just because it then... Uh, it's kind of a logistics nightmare at that point. So staying out more than four weeks at a time, unless your area is is uh, bleak for freight, then then usually we want you, you know, two to three, maybe even four um, for the max time out. There are definitely exceptions, and that's when you want to talk to your your recruiter and your driver manager to discuss those. Um, Amy says, Tim, Missoula says uh, 7 p.m. will have about 70% chance of rain or well, snow rain starting now. Woo, yeah, so be careful, Tim, if the rain's starting now. I, I've got sunny skies where I'm at. I'm about three hours away from you. Um, so that's the minimum pay qualifications. That same for the guaranteed pay qualifications. Those same criteria are used towards our accelerated sign-on bonus, which is the quarterly sign-on bonus that we were talking about, um, that James made the extra amount on. So the 1250 pays out each quarter, 1250 of that 5000 And this is, of course, during your first year of employment with Decker. Now, once you have that, if you are a refrigerated driver or a van driver and you ran over 25,000 miles for the quarter, then you're gonna get an extra five cents a mile on all the miles over 25,000. If you're a flatbed driver, you're looking at any miles over 20,000 for that quarter, you'll get an additional five cents a mile on all those miles. Um, so those are that's the extra pay that you'll be seeing. Now, and I used uh, James as an example uh, with over $1,400 uh, for that quarterly bonus. Um, you know, again, you can just make that a little bit extra money um, here and there. Now, that is not the only bonus that we have. That's our quarterly, and that's just for the first year. However, we do have our monthly bonus of our Smart Drive bonus, and then we also have our monthly scorecard bonus. Our scorecard bonus is um, based off of the criteria of very, some of it's very similar, actually, for that matter. Um, let me pull that up here for you and see if I can show you. Oh, maybe it won't let me. Okay, but the criteria for the scorecard would get you an extra four cents a mile as a company driver or an extra three cents a mile as an owner operator or lease purchase driver. So for the scorecard, fuel compliance is a major factor. That's a 50 points um, on your scorecard. Then you also have, um, Amy says possible, Tim, it's possible. <laughs> so fuel compliance is one of the factors for the scorecard bonus. So is um, your, so your fuel compliance, your idle time, idle time being the second, and a major one, 
idle time of a thousand point total, idle is 200 points worth. So if you, uh, if you weren't, if you had too high of an idle, then you could knock off a full 200 points, which would bring your thousand points down to, to 800. If you're at 800, you're not seeing a payout for that week or excuse me, for that month. I had to think about that for a second. You won't see a payout for the month if you're anything, if you're 800 or below. Now, 825 or above will have anywhere from one to four cents of a, for the company drivers, one to four cents more for the bonus for that month. And that's on all the miles that you ran for the month, not just over a certain amount. So fuel compliance, idle time, miles, claims, service failures, uh, preventable accidents, CSA violations, those are all the criteria. So there's seven criteria in this bonus that pays out monthly, okay? And again, it's on all the miles that you ran. For the miles, it's 150 and each division is a little bit different. So for the over the road refrigerated based out of Missoula, Montana, anything over um, 2,700 miles is gonna get the full 150 points that is a um, allocated for the mileage part of the scorecard bonus. That makes sense <laughs> if you follow in that. Okay, now that's going to be different than our Midwest refrigerated, which I believe is 2400 for an, anything over 24 is going to get that full 150 points um, towards that the mileage section of the scorecard bonus. So just to break it down for you again, so the idle time is, is a, worth 200 points. Um, so is the preventable accidents, so is a CSA violation, um, and then 50 points for compliance, 150 for miles, um, claims is 100, and service failures is 100. So those are the, the additional points. How do I get eight? <laughs> so miles, claims, service failures, preventable accidents, CSA violations, and uh, fuel compliance. All right, golden. 825 to 900, or 825, 850, um, 875, it's gonna get you an extra one cents per mile on all the miles that you run. 900 to 950, or 900 to 949, is gonna get you an extra two cents a mile on all the miles you ran that month. 950 to uh, 999 is gonna get you an extra three cents per mile, and anything that is a perfect score, a thousand points, is gonna get you a four cents a mile on all those miles at ramp. So if you guys have questions on that, please reach out to one of the recruiters, 888-668-0698, so that we can make sure that we can answer those questions for you. Um, you can definitely make that extra, those extra points. Dean is a perfect example. I use Dean all the time because he, he's always talking about there's no reason why you can't get that thousand points. You're, there shouldn't be any reason. Um, he gets it on a regular basis. Uh, Charles Gann, um, he received it, let's see, Charles and Timothy, they both had perfect scores for all of 2020. So every month they had a thousand points. And that's with vacations in there, right, Charles? <laughs> um, I use Charles mostly because uh, he was our driver of the year last year, so he won, uh, our grand champion, I should say, because he won the whole $1,500, $15,000 uh, bonus back in March. Uh, Tim says, what about bones for out of running loan dispatch? What about a bones? Bonus is what you're saying. Okay. For running loan dispatch arrived four days early. Not yet. I haven't seen that yet. That was a hard one to read. <laughs> uh, talk to text always doesn't always work so well, huh? All right. So that's the scorecard bonus. Let's talk about the smart drive real quick. And I'll actually be going into detail on this on the 15th of the month, both the 15th and the 16th of February. But I, we've had a couple of questions on it. I wanted to make sure that I addressed it right away so you guys were well aware of how it paid out and, uh, you know, how it paid out, when it pays out, which is usually around the 15th of every month for the scar scorecard and smart drive bonus. Now, smart drive, your criteria for that is that you have to have the inward facing event recorder on. That's the one criteria. Um, and then the second one is you must have 20 points or less as your smart drive score. 
and you should be able to have access to both your scorecard and your smart drive scar score smart drive and scorecard <laughs> scores there we go on your transfo geo tab or on your transfo app on your phone so if you don't have access on your transfo app on your phone make sure that you're getting with somebody and you're you're downloading the Decker Truckline app in order to have access to that because it'll give you all those details. Uh, the GeoTab unit on the truck doesn't yet have all of the details on the scorecard and smart drive, but the phone app should. Um, once we've got everybody swapped over into the GeoTab unit from the Omnitrax, then all of that information should eventually be coming because then we can link everybody's um, together. Well, that part of it. I mean, you're not going to have access to everybody's, but so it pays around the 15th of the month. Um, again, the smart drive, it's an extra penny per mile. So total is an extra possible extra five cents per mile on all the miles that you ran for the month between the scorecard and the smart drive bonuses. So definitely incentives there um, available to you. Uh, all right. Looks like I am caught up on the questions there. Um, any other questions on those bonuses and how they pay out? We do have a couple of different uh, resources. Here's, here's a link to the explanation of, where's my thing here? There you go, 2020 scorecard explained there for you um, in case you had any questions. See if I can copy this link. There you go. That should help you out. That should answer a bunch of your questions as well as the guarantee pay and all that good stuff. But we'll talk about more of the bonuses um, payout for 2021 on the 15th of the month. We'll talk about the referral bonus. Uh, we'll talk about the, um, speaking of referral bonus, this Jason Hale should be receiving his final payment on one of his referrals uh, for I'm trying to think. It was his referral that was in November of 2020. Um, so an extra $500 for you there. Um, and then Chad. Chad is getting his, Roden is getting his first installment of his uh, referral bonus uh, for a new hire here recently. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven referrals payouts this week um, in total. Just for this week that we've got coming out here and then of course we've got um, our sign-on bonuses paying out as well as our um, sign-on bonuses our quarterly bonuses things like that have been paid out this week paid out on a weekly basis and it pays out on your settlement each week just like the rest of it which is direct deposited again everything has to be in by sunday night in order to get paid on Friday for it, um, which is direct deposit. So if you guys have questions on any of the bonuses, please reach out to us, 888-668-0698. Mm -hmm. um, did I miss anything on that? I think I hit all the questions that I was asked earlier on those. So if I missed any, uh, feel free to, to ask away so I can get those answered for you. Particulars, that would be great. Okay, excellent. Um, what else do we have? We've also got um, talking about available positions for the guaranteed pays. Um, let me just kind of break those down based off of the area as well. This is a very generalized statement. So for more specific location information, please reach out to the recruiter. Telephone number is right here. Um, that way we're getting you the most up-to-date, but yeah, telephone number is right here, 888-668-0698, or you can go to the webpage, which is drivedecker.com, and in the upper right-hand corner is my right hand. Yep, my right hand. <laughs> the upper right-hand corner says apply now. You can fill out the application there. Of course, if you want to uh, refer somebody, then you can do on the quick reply, um, scroll down. I'm doing this backwards, so it's harder for me. 
Um, so you scroll down, you can um, have them do a quick apply right here. Can you see that? Not really. And then the other option is go to Y Decker or into the um, driver referral, which is also next to the apply now. And then it'll bring you into the driver referral program. And here is like the transfer app that's on your phone. Um, you'll be able to put in your information. If you are the person referring, you'll be able to put in your information here, um, which is your driver code, your name, and then your the drive the person you're referring their email address and their name and telephone number so that a recruiter can get back to them and answer the questions that they had. Um, that way we can keep track and we can do these payouts each week as they come in. And for a reminder of the referral bonus, the referral bonus pays out in four installments. It pays $250 on their first dispatch. So when the person you referred is hired on, on their first dispatch, you'll get the first $250. You'll get the second $250 after they've been here for 30 days you'll get um, the next $500 on their 60 day mark and their 90 day mark will be the remaining $500. Now that's if you're referring one, two or three people in the year. If you've referred more than that, then the pay just goes up. The last two payments go up. So it's 750 and what, 1250 um, is what it goes up to. So you definitely have um, the opportunity to make more money on referrals. All right, excellent. If you would like to send in a referral um, or even a testimonial to us, you can send that in to me at facebook.com backslash DTL Inc. And I'd be happy to share that video or the write-up, however you have that. Um, speaking of, if you, um, kind of run it down though, but if you have uh, something that you or someone you would like to um, compliment or Hero of the Week, we do Hero of the Week, um, Michael, Hill is our hero of the week this week for, for many things, but for the one um, just stepping up and um, stepping up and I'm trying to figure out the best way to say this, but um, if it wasn't for Michael, there, there wouldn't have been a felon that was out on... Um, on bail and, and a warrant for his arrest out there that uh, we wouldn't wouldn't have been caught I guess I should say so it's a big dr drug bust um, Michael nice work kudos to you for for stepping in and, and seeing knowing your surroundings recognizing your surroundings and uh, keeping keeping people safe so way to go um, yeah so if you have somebody that you would like to recommend for hero of the week or just pay a compliment, please send it to facebook.com backslash DTL Inc. And I'd be happy to pass that information on. Uh, if you have somebody from night ops, if like specific individuals from night ops or maintenance that you would like to recognize, please again reach out to me so that I can um, get, their in, get the information to them as well. So, all right. Um, okay, so back to what I was going to explain before I got sidetracked, because that's what I do. Um, the... The hiring areas and the different different positions that we have and all that good stuff. So, for the guaranteed pay, which is twelve fifty a week for Midwest Refrigerated, if you live in um, Minneapolis, Minnesota, if you live along I ninety um, to from Minneapolis to Chicago, or if you live along I eighty from Omaha to Chicago, or really close to I eighty or I ninety along that route then we do have a Midwest refrigerated guaranteed pay of $12.50 a week. So it guarantees the $12.50. Your cents per mile is what you would get paid if you didn't meet those qualifications that we explained earlier. Um, however, that $12.50 you should be seeing on a regular basis for that. The Kansas City area, if you live within 50 miles of Kansas City, then another fantastic location for that, for that Midwest refrigerated guaranteed pay, which is $12.50, and home weekly, usually coming in on a Friday night or a Saturday and leaving back out either Sunday night or Monday morning. So that's usually how that works out. Remember, we figure for every seven days that you're out, it's a day and a half home time. If you are on one of the divisions that are out a week, two weeks, you know, three weeks, depending on, you know, how you like to run and, and how the miles end up working well for you. Um, so with that in mind, if you're in our over-the-road refrigerated or even more of our Midwest OTR division, 
then it's $1,000 a week guaranteed, but your pay per mile is going to be reflected off of your the amount of experience that you have. And then, of course, not, not only your experience amount, but then the number of miles that you've ran. And if that total exceeds that $1,000 a week guarantee, then you're going to get the better of the two, which is a given. You're going to get the better of the two um, no matter what on that. And then for Midwest flatbed, if you're looking for short haul, the Fort Dodge area is good. Uh, Chicago, or excuse me, Fort Dodge, um, Omaha, uh, Sioux City, those are all good areas for us for the Fort Dodge short haul, which will get you home multiple times throughout the week, as well as um, on the weekends. That one guarantees $1,000 a week. Our $1,700 a week guarantee is for our Midwest flatbed. And it, if you live within 50 miles of uh, the Chicago area, we also currently have a position available for our Midwest flatbed, pays $1,450 a week. Uh, you are not only running the Chicago area on that one, you're running really um, pretty much the Midwest. Any, if you live along Iowa City to uh, Columbus, Ohio, up to Toledo, back towards the Chicago area, um, to Iowa City or from Mason City to Fort Dodge up to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, back down to um, Macy, Mason City. If you live anywhere along those routes or within that area, um, then you would qualify for that $14.50 a week Midwest flatbed guaranteed pay. Do keep in mind that for our flatbed divisions, we do require nine months of flatbed experience. So nine months of flatbed experience. For the refrigerated and the van divisions, we require five months of tractor trailer experience. So it doesn't have to be trailer specific for the refrigerated and van, but it does need to be trailer specific for the flatbed position. Our Midwest van has a weekly home time if you live along I-80 from Lincoln, Nebraska to Gary, Indiana, as well as if you live in Atlanta, Georgia, Hartwell, Georgia, Athens, Georgia, um, where else? Uh, Anderson, South Carolina, we have home time of options for you there too. You're looking at every two weeks if you're down in the Southeast, but it's still the Midwest uh, van division. Again, that one guarantees at least $1,000 a week. That's the guarantee on it, but your pay per mile and the miles that you run, when they exceed that, you'll get the better of the two. Um, also qualifies for the $5,000 sign-on bonus, the accelerated uh, quarterly paid out sign-on bonus, and the monthly scorecard and smart drive bonuses as well. If you are in the Southeast and you're looking for weekly home time and you're looking for weekly home time in refrigerated, you, we do have that, um, but you need to live anywhere from Jackson, Mississippi up to Atlanta along that route, up towards the Nashville area, over to Memphis and back down to um, Jackson, Mississippi. So really anything in that vicinity there is going to get you home on a weekly basis. You'll run mostly the Southeast. Um, especially Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, uh, the Carolinas, and as well as the Midwest, Illinois, Iowa, Indiana. Those are all areas that you'd see. It's not limiting you only to those areas. It's just the majority of what you'd see and getting you home on a weekly basis. So um, usually you're headed up to the Midwest once a week and then back down uh, to, to get you more miles around the area. Um, the... Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have a weekly home time in flatbed, our over-the-road flatbed division, If that's out of Bessemer, Alabama. If you live in Georgia, um, if you live in northern part of Alabama, uh, we have the weekly home time. And if you live in North Carolina, so north, or yeah, in North Carolina, anything west of 95 is going to be uh, the home weekly for, the, for our Midwest flatbed division. Don't forget, you have to have a minimum of nine months of flatbed experience for that position to, to qualify. Um, yeah, I think we're covering all of that. The, the other over-the-road flatbed positions that we have that are based out of Bessemer, Alabama, they run coast to coast, although the majority is in the Midwest and the Southeast. Um, so if you live in Texas, if you live in Louisiana or T Tennessee or Missouri, parts of Missouri, uh, Oklahoma, um, Mississippi, Kentucky, uh, Pennsylvania, I'm trying to think, Ohio, you know, I'm trying to make sure I'm getting all the areas, areas of Virginia, 
if you're wondering about home time um, and possible positions available for the flatbed, give us a call at 888-668-0698 so that we can give you more details on that as well. So again, nine months of flatbed experience is required for all flatbed divisions. And then the local position out of Bessemer, Alabama does require a year of flatbed experience, um, it, especially with coils because you'd be doing a lot of coil work. It is a local position, $17 an hour. Um, if you have questions on it, give us a holler, 888-668-0698. So I think it pretty much hit all of the available positions. Um, I think all of our other local positions are full as of right now and some of our other regional positions. Um, but as always, if you're wondering what's available, please reach out to us so that we can answer those specifically to where you live, because that's what matters, where you live, how much experience you have, and, and all of those details. Um, all right, I think I've caught up on the comments as well. So next week, we'll be talking a little bit about driver support um, and driver support well, well, I should probably wait to go into detail. <laughs> so I'll talk a little bit uh, more next week. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Make sure when you subscribe, you click the bell that's next to it. And that way it'll notify you every time that we go live. I'm assuming, Tim, that's what happened. And you knew we went live because of it. Um, but if you haven't already, please do so. And then, of course, follow us on Facebook because we are live every Monday at 4 p.m. Central on our Facebook channel as well. And then every once in a while, like last Friday, we'll go live just randomly to do our drawings, uh, any drawings that we have. We have quarterly drawings for our referral bonus. We have um, the annual drawing for the, um, the Take Pride in Your Ride. And then, of course, we're going to have something coming up here soon for our driver uh, awards ceremony uh, when we go into detail on that as well. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, for speaking of support and um, help, if you guys have any issues with the Transflow GeoTab, we do have a manual that Jason Sorleen put together for us. Um, I think it was a combination of Jason and and Alexa and and uh, Rick. I'm not sure who all was involved. I know Jason for sure, but. Um, Thank goodness they put together a how-to manual, which is, I mean, images and everything. So it's really, really easy to follow. If you're having any issues or questions on it, please reach out to us so that we can send you that either by email or you can check it out on our Decker intranet um, page. So if you go to your, if you log into your intranet, uh, you'll have access there. We were going to send it out by email as well. So they have that. Uh, remember the intranet uh, for the Decker page if you guys are having troubles with it just reach out to the recruiter or your fleet manager and we can give you that address um, The random stuff throws us all off. What are you talking about random stuff? <laughs> Wrong Amy you're used to it <laughs> So yeah, just making sure that you have all that um, Tim I will give you a call here in just a moment um but yeah, I think, I think we've got it all covered. Uh, if there's anything else that you guys need, please give me a call. 888-668-0698. And then again, we'll go through, we'll dive deep into the bonuses, what they pay out and everything um, on the 15th of the month. So if you haven't changed your calendars, you guys, change your calendars. It is already February. We've got Sarah Kennard on our, um, on our picture for our calendars. So... Tim says he has all the notifications on and my brain says it's Q&A time. Exactly. The brain works. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome. All right. So until later, I will talk to you next week on Monday on our Facebook as well as Tuesday right here at noon central. Um, but if you have questions in the meantime, reach out to us at 888-668-0698. What's the drink of choice this morning? It is water. Hot water. It's lukewarm water right now. So, hmm. I need to get a new uh, thermal because mine, mine has worn, <laughs> has been worn out. So, uh, to keep it running. Coffee. Tim says coffee. He's running. <laughs>
All right, you guys, I will see you next week. Um, as always, reach out to me if you have any questions. Anna, thank you for your help. Amy, you as well. Tim, we will be talking to you here shortly. William, you'll be safe on the road. So, and anybody else that I missed, um, have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you next week. You take care.